Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video. And um, well, I got some stuff to show you. Um, I did not really find hardly anything in stores, but I did score a chase. We'll get to that in a second. Um, so whatever, let's just get right into it. So grocery stores, or at least grocery stores around me have been getting this Nightmare Before Christmas 25 years set, which my buddy uh, Suresh, uh, picked up for me um, the super van that I wanted so that is pretty awesome thank you buddy and he picked up the uh, this is the Volkswagen Squareback so the only two cars I really wanted out of the set we'll open them in the second segment of this video which uh, by the way since I didn't find much I am gonna do at the end of this video we will do a very brief room tour I'm gonna show you uh, the current state of things and it's a complete disaster mess but I'm gonna show it to you anyway because there's some things I'm debating on doing and maybe some of your opinions will help me out all right so anyway got those two cars might be over for Christmas pretty sweet um, I found a white lightning in the store um, long story longer I actually opened up uh, I think three cases of Johnny Lightning. There were all these older, older cases that Walmarts have been now getting or whatever. They're from 2016. Uh, this is the 1968 Chevy Impala. Um, I don't think I'm going to open this one. I think I'm going to possibly trade it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit, see what happens. Um, anyway, and then I also opened up like seven cases of Auto World and struck completely out. No Ultra Red, no Ultra Raw. It's a series I already have a ton of. So that was disappointing, but scored this. So that's pretty cool to score a White Lightning. It's been a long time since I've scored a White Lightning. Um, and then my buddy Suresh and uh, my other buddy Keith, who are both in my local uh, diecast club. They live in a town north of me. Um, they found the Hot Wheels 50th sets. And uh, Shiresh decided he wanted to get, or they decided they wanted to get a set to me right away so I could make a video on them. So I did get this second wave here of the 50th favorites. I'm not gonna open these in the second scene of the video. I am gonna film a standalone video on these like I usually do. And uh, I'll open them all up then. Just wanted to give a shout out to them and uh, say that I got them. Um, all right, so then I picked some stuff, random stuff to quickly open up in the second segment of this video. Um, since I'm not going to open that White Lightning, I will open a White Lightning. I've got this 1977 Lotus Esprit S1. I've got the regular version and the White Lightning version. We're going to go ahead and open those two cars up. So that'll be kind of a fun one. Um, and then I decided, you know, when I was grabbing stuff off the wall, since I'm not going to open up that 50th favorite set in this video, I'll open up three kind of cool cars that represent that set. So, we got the 65 Ford Galaxy, Neo Classics, which this would be the one in the 50th favorites. We've got the uh, 69 Camaro, which is also in the 50th favorites. This is the Super Treasure Hunt. This is from, I think, 2008. 2000, yep, 2008. And then this 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, which was the uh, Hot Wheels Club uh, membership car from... I don't know, what was it, 2015 or 16? 2016 club car in red. So this is the only one version of this I have. There are three other, or two other versions, a black one and a blue one, and I got the red one, which the red one is limited to 4,650. This is number 204. It's been sitting on my wall, and I think it's high time it gets opened up. So I'm going to open up those items, which will be fun to watch in the second segment before we do our brief room tour. And then I also picked out some stuff from the uh, Chuck collection that's been sitting, again, uh, stuff that I purchased from it. Um, just, this is going to be kind of a Johnny Lightning heavy video, but we got uh, these weird things right here. These bugs. Uh, what was the name of this? It's like, uh, I don't know, Bugaboo. Yeah, Bugaboo is the name of the casting. It's like these weird drag beetle kind of things. We'll take a look at those. I got two of them. Um, I got this. Uh, this is a hearse. This is, what is this? Cadillac hearse. It's a nice looking little Johnny Lightning. We'll take a look at that in the second segment. Uh, the sweet GTO Zinger. 
pretty cool. These were just some loose Johnny Lightnings he had. Um, this one's pretty nice too. It's just a, a Volkswagen bus. Take a peek at that. Uh, this is pretty slick, this mystery machine totally cartooned out and it's in like kind of a mirror finish paint so it's pretty cool i always want i wanted it just to join like the super treasure hunt that i have of this so that's kind of that's kind of fun and then um i'll we'll take a look at this racing champs here it's kind of nicked up it's not in perfect shape uh the bumper's actually falling off of it in the front and you know it's racing champions so older racing champions the side mirrors are missing and all of that but the re oh and the seats floating around in there but uh We'll take a look at that in the second segment. The only reason why I wanted to show you this is because I wanted to show you it and compare it to the round two treatment of this casting, uh, which we did look at in a previous weekly video, but I did want to um, show the two side by side. So we are going to take a look at that. All right, so that's going to be it for this segment of the video. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. We're going to take a look at this stuff really quick, and then we're going to take a look at the room really quick. Um, and that's going to be it for this week, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at this Racing Champions uh, Buick Grand National, Buick Regal, whatever. Um, so this thing, funny thing happened here. Um, I wanted to open up the hood of this car. So I did the uh, classic, you know, hit it on your two fingers thing here. And that's what happened. The hood uh, broke completely off so that is such classic racing champions right there it's got a bit of zinc pest which is a problem uh, problematic thing where there's lead impurities in the metal and eventually this thing will probably crumble to nothing um, so I guess it's all right as an example piece still but yeah so there there's that that is quite unfortunate. All right, so let's take a look at this car just real quick. Uh, the wheels look okay on it. <laughs> uh, aside from that. And then, um, so we got two separate, the bumpers are separate pieces, as you are more obvious when we look at the Regal version. Um, this is a metal base. It feels super cheap. The metal feels super cheap on these cars. Um, typically, old racing champions will like be this chromed metal look on the base, which does really nothing for me. Here's proof that it is a second piece for the bumper because the bumper is falling off. Um, I mean, this would be a cool car uh, if it just didn't look like this. Um, I actually do have the black racing champions one. I don't know why I didn't grab that. Hang on one quick second. So here is the round two treatment. I got a little, it's a little dusty, so hang on one second. Here's the round two treatment of this car. Wheels look much better. Um, the graphics are more to scale, which is cool. Oh yeah, there's a seat floating around this. There's actually literally the passenger seat. Oh, there goes the hood. Passenger seat's floating around in this. Um, pieces are basically the same. If you take a look at the front, much more detailed it's a buick right there in the grill you got your indicators and all that stuff is all painted uh, looks pretty good the wheels are rubber or the tires are rubber and so are these but um they definitely look better on this uh this more current racing champions lineup uh the interior is basically the same uh you've got the two-tone colored seats with a uh, gray and black and looks pretty good. Uh, the hood, same basic shape there. Um, let's see what else. So, you know, you got the separate pieces there. Uh, let's see if we can get this hood open without it falling off. Uh, this one's definitely a little tighter. And there it is opened. You can kind of see in there. It's kind of tough to see because uh, it's not chromed like this one is. It's actually got painted detail on it, so it's a little tough, tougher to see. Well, and the hood's a little bit in the way since it didn't break off. But there you go. There's round two treatment of this vehicle. Um, license plates, of course. Bad GN in there. Just uh, better detail all around on this round two version of this casting. So just wanted to show those two next to each other. Uh, so buyer beware when you're trying to get some older racing champion stuff. Ooh, I got it to snap in pretty good. Oh, that's cool. And I'll glue that in there 
and this will be still just a nice little comparison piece um, but the round two version is definitely better so older racing champions watch out guys watch out for that stuff because it may just fall apart on you here go over the johnny lightning stuff real brief just this is a wacky casting i had to add it though because i collect you know the older vw beetles and this is just kind of a cool little version of it i got it in purple here and yellow and just kind of a you know whatever a neat look this is the era of johnny lightning i don't typically collect much um it's got like i don't know if they use like a weird adhesive or something for these um tires to be on the rim so that they didn't come off but it's got like this weird bead of like i don't know it's like it's like some sort of goo or i'm not really sure what that is it's like either red or green or i not really sure what that is but these were just too weird to to let go so i had to add them to my bug collection um so there's that and then sticking with vw for one moment here's a vw bus Again, just had to add this to the bus collection just to have an example. I don't think I have many of these Johnnies um, of this version. Actually, I don't know if I really have any now that I'm looking over there. This might be the first one I've got loose of this actual tooling. Pretty basic. It's got plastic wheels. It's a more basic Johnny Lightning. You know, you could definitely tell, I've mentioned it before, but Johnny Lightning has gone through like a lot of phases of quality and just weird, interesting stuff that they've done. Um, here's a hearse, the Cadillac hearse. Kind of a neat little piece. Halloween is right around the corner, guys. So here's this one. I don't think the hood opens up. It does not. No hood opening. That's just a cool, cool little Cadillac, so need to add that guy to the collection and then um, we got the mystery machine it's just great it's wacky looking it's like cartoony and stuff i just had to have one example of this uh casting and why not get the chromed one just kind of a cool cool deal so there's that and then last up of course i collect gto this gto casting from Hot or Hot Wheels, oh, from Hot Wheels, as well as Johnny Lightning, and you got to have a Zinger version of it. So here is the Zinger version. I don't really care for Zingers all that much. Uh, shout out to Radar Four Six Eight. I know that you're kind of <laughs> this thing is totally up your alley, um, but this is pretty cool. It looks like you could pop this piece out. So this is the actual regular GTO casting that they do. They just put it on a Zinger base and uh, do this blown engine thing and get rid of the hood. And there you go, there's what you got. So there's also a spoilers version of this casting, which doesn't have a hood and just has a smaller motor that you can see, and obviously has a regular base. And then there's obviously the, just the regular GTO version, Johnny Lady. I didn't bring all those out to show you right now, but you get the idea, I hope. All right, so that is, the, oh, last Johnny Lightning stuff. Um, we'll do these two. I found these two at separate times. Um, this one I found in Ohio, and this is not me that wrote this, but someone found this at Meyer on North Hamilton Road, paid $2.99 for it. Uh, in package only, so it only has it in package, White Lightning, 200 made, 24th of March, 2001. So that's interesting. I think I got this thing for like 10 bucks um, at this like hobby shop thing at... Uh, should we open up the regular one first? Yeah. So this is from JL Collection. It's a hobby shop thing in Ohio, and this is a few years ago. And this is the only example of this Spree casting that I have. I, I love the Lotus Esprit. This Johnny Lightning tooling is not the greatest uh, Esprit out there, but it is somewhat cool. They haven't released it a whole ton either. There's like a James Bond one. I don't know what else there is, but... Open this up. And here's the white lightning. So you could probably tell right off the difference is this one's got white rims, this one has chrome rims. The other difference is this one has a white interior and this one has a tan interior. Other than that, these should be pretty much identical. But pretty cool to have. So I'm kind of on the fence about white lightnings. As you probably have figured out, I don't really collect them. And the, um, most of the reason is, is because, I don't know, they're just not that cool. 
I would actually prefer that they did either something like this, white rims, I just, the white tires thing. Um, just like I'm not a huge fan of the Auto World red tires thing. I know it's great, yeah, it's obvious it's a chase piece, but I like it kind of when chases are just like another variation of the car that still looks realistic. They're just the harder one to find. Um, and that's my opinion. So obviously other people have completely different opinions and that is completely okay. All right, so there's those briefly. The last up we got is some Hot Wheels and some pretty cool stuff. Starting with this right here and moving up to the higher end pieces. We've got this Nightmare Before Christmas, 25 years. Uh, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Here is the Volkswagen in a flat black with a red uh, glass. Yes, I have seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. I comment a lot on this channel. I don't watch a lot of uh, TV or movies and stuff like that. Not really up to date. But since it's been 25 years since The Nightmare Before Christmas, yes, 25 years ago, I did see it. All right, so, or whatever the, the movie, that, the first movie that came out. I can't tell you if there's subsequent ones or not, but there you go. There is the Volkswagen. Pretty cool. Definitely a, a cooler Halloween series from... Uh, Hot Wheels. I'm glad that they did this as a Halloween series. Um, and here's a Superman. So it's great to see one of these because I collect uh, this casting. Green windshield. So I didn't really hoard these. I would have hoarded them if they didn't have a green windshield. Uh, because I would have hoarded them for, you know, future thoughts of making customs of this casting. Just because I really like this fan casting. It's a fun one to customize. Uh, you can do some cool stuff with it. Ladder room for decals and all that jazz. So, would have hoarded it if, uh, if it didn't have that green window. Which is actually part of the whole interior. So, it's got green seats um, and all of that. So, I love the super van casting. Vintage and new. And I just think it's, it's really cool. So, there is that. All right, so what should we do next? Let's do this one first. This is a Super Treasure Hunt 69 Camaro. I wanted to open this one up for quite some time. I don't have the regular version to my knowledge. It might be buried somewhere in this room that we're gonna look at at the end of this little segment, but this is from 2008. So the regular Treasure Hunt would have also had the green stripe on it, but it would have not had the Spectra Flame paint, which this has, or translucent paint and not had the real rider tires, which is kind of cool. I kind of miss that they did that. Yeah, whatever, it's easy to find the green treasure hunt. Even if they got rid of the green treasure hunt, and well, I guess that is what they're doing, right? They don't have the green treasure hunt, but the regular treasure hunt is, well, whatever. The regular treasure hunt and the super used to be the same casting. They're not anymore. Now the regular treasure hunt's that Super Flame logo stuff that's really just kid stuff. And, um, and then you got the super treasure hunts. Well, whatever. Anyway, so this is that. We got a little Tampa flaw right there, no biggie. Uh, kind of an interesting color for a super. Uh, you don't see too many translucent, like palish blue uh, super treasure hunts. So I think this is definitely the only one that's this color in my collection. It's like a silverish blue. And I think it looks pretty good, actually. Uh, this is probably my favorite Camaro casting, um, is the 69 Camaro. Uh, the 67 is pretty cool too, but this one I think just looks a bit better in my humble opinion. So there's that guy. And let's see, we got two more to go. We'll save the gasser for last. Here is the Galaxy, Ford Galaxy. I think I got this like off of eBay a long time ago. These were actually only limited to 4,500, which is a low um, number for Neo Classics. Usually Neo Classic series, you're, you're definitely usually up over 10,000. Um, and for whatever reason, uh, they didn't make as many back then. Uh, so this is a Series 12 Galaxy 500. This is the same cast that's in the Hot Wheels favorites right now. Um, go ahead and open it up. So it's got a beautiful color, aqua, an aqua green. Kind of looks like a different color depending on what angle you're looking at it, which is pretty awesome. Definitely like an aqua color. The hood does not open on these. Uh, on this one, the headlights are just painted this white, actually quite sloppily, if you take a look at that. I almost wish they would have just not painted them. Um, taillights look pretty good. They look pretty good on that one. Uh, we got chromed metal base. Uh, it's actually gloss white 
top. Kind of wish that was a matte color, but very beautiful color on the side of the car. The Neo Classics wheels, some people don't like them. I do like them, although the Real Riders, the new ones with the Real Riders that have the Neo Classics look, uh, definitely much cooler. But this is a cool piece, and again, kind of a unique color. Um, the color is really what makes it uh, cool. So, yeah, like I said, it looks more green or blue, kind of depending on how you look at the thing. And um, it's just a just a pretty cool color. So there is the Galaxy 500. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and open up this right here. Ta-da! 2016 Club Car. Yeah, I know. We're going to open it up. This is staying in the collection. I was a member. This is the first time I've ever been a member was when this came out. There is the button that you get with it, which is metal. I don't know. This I really don't, don't have a reason to keep, but we're going to keep it. Obviously, I'm gonna toss it. And here is the gasser. There's the number again, 204. There's this uh, blurb if you want to read it sideways. It's orientation lock your phone. Pause it. All right, so let's open it up. That one came open real easy. Again, we got Neo Classics wheels, and here is our car. Beautiful Spectra Flame red. I think this car took almost like a year and a half to get from when they were ordered because some they kept getting screwed up or something. And but there it is. So you got like a pearl white top, Spectra Flame chromed red. And chromed motor there, chrome, chrome interior. Actually, no, it's a painted... Oh, it's got painted red seats. So that's kind of a nice touch. So the seats are painted red, even though the motor's still part of the interior piece. You get some detail up front here, too, which is nice. And, of course, some detail in the back, including a license plate, which is pretty cool. And overall, I mean, it's a pretty nice gasser. It's not the, it's not the best-looking gasser uh, that they've put out. Of course, the candy striper's the king, right? there right of course i don't have a candy striper because i don't have 500 dollars and it would ever blow on a car like that who knows maybe it's even more expensive nowadays um but here is this guy so pretty sweet all right so now as promised we are going to do this really briefly i'm going to go ahead and we're going to tour the room just real brief and um kind of talk about my uh storage dilemmas all right all right, guys, so as they say in the uh, YouTube industry, uh, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, this is where I film the close-up shots of my videos. I have shown this room in previous episodes. You can kind of search Room Tour Champion DJK. You'll probably see different uh, versions of it. This is going to be a real quick one, though. I'm not going to go through everything, but I am going to give you a brief overview of the room. Uh, starting with, there's a Carney case right there. We're not even going to get close up into it, but it is full of Auto World. It fits 144 cars. There are very few empty slots in it. Uh, I think there's like two right there. So this is the angled uh, Carney case. Pretty cool. I got some customs on the wall there. We've got some customs right here carded. Um, then we got another Carney case right here. Again, that is all Auto World, which I've got one section of it right here that needs to be filled up. And that was actually full with these deluxe model Auto Worlds that I pulled out of that case to make room for more premium ones. And then we got another Carney case right here, the third and final Carney case. This is all premium Hot Wheels. So. Some pretty cool pieces in here. Um, let me take a look. So, just some nice, nice pieces in there. And then, just real briefly, we've got some more Auto World. There's some customs there. Um, just some random stuff on the table, including some customs I got from other people. This will be a future video. Those are all my VW panel buses. Here's loose cars that are just waiting, waiting to be sorted and stored, as you can see under there. So the place is a mess right now. Plano cases, full of random stuff, super treasure hunts, some vintage stuff, super treasure hunts. 
green light buses and stuff. So I've started to organize. So this is the area right here that I've started to kind of get organized. I've had um, different things in the back here occasionally, um, but we're just gonna take a look at an overview. I'm not gonna get in depth into each case because this is all gonna change. Um, and then some carded stuff where you see some holes on the wall, that stuff I've pulled down and uh, recently freed the piece on. So of course those are now holes. Um, so there's that. And then I'm just gonna, again, kind of just turn around the room here. Uh, a lot of that is duplicate auto world that you see. Uh, a bunch of it is Johnny Lightnings that still need to be opened up. Uh, a bunch of loose vans and stuff there. Uh, auto world. Uh, this whole section right here that you're looking at of Auto World, those all need to be opened up. Um, those V dubs need to be opened up. A bunch of the stuff over here needs to be opened up. I got another smaller Carney case right there, which we will take a look at here a little bit closer up. So let's do that real quick. We'll kind of walk over here. I'm trying to kind of give you an idea of the size of the room. I'll just do a quick spin around here. So I know the motion is going to be blurry on this camera, but just to kind of give you an idea what we're looking at. So you got the pegboard over here and then the rest is all loose car stuff. So I did just recently as well fill up my 50th uh, anniversary case with all real riders, original 80s real riders. Shout out to uh, Jeremy Bolter. He made that custom for me. I've shown that in the previous video. Um, there's some bugs that did not fit in the case. Actually, thinking about picking up a second one of these cases, we'll see. Uh, there's some golf stuff right there. Uh, some other random cars, other random cars. My very limited M2 collection right here. <clears throat> and this little carny case is all um, uh, import uh, Ferraris and Lamborghinis. So most of it is Kyosho. Um, some of it, however, uh, there's a couple uh, Tomica premiums in here. Um, there's a couple of uh, CMs, uh, like this one right here is a CMs. Probably can't get this glare in the way, but um, so there's that. And then, um, no, I can't shut it a bit. And then over here, I also have, there's a door out, and then I also have some... Uh, some Porsche, this is all premium stuff that's on this wall. These are those Auto World um, interlocking cases, which I've got just kind of a line of them uh, going down this little middle part before you get into the closet where I've got loose car storage, a um, bunch of stuff. Some of this is videos that are in progress or future videos, and then a big old mess 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 there's mess all over there's the stuff that i just uh, opened up for the video that we just saw in the previous segment uh, a bunch of jammers underneath there uh, loose cars that are yet to be sorted a bunch of 10 car tuesday future episodes right there uh, a bunch of matchbox that's all being sorted out it's on the floor right there and yes the floor is dirty and yes it does need to be vacuumed but i don't have a whole lot of time all right so now let's talk about the future of the room real briefly so First up, all the stuff that's carded either has to go or it has to get opened, period, right? There is a couple of things I have duplicates of that I will save on card just to have an example of a carded version. So I'm kind of wondering what I should do. I know one thing is fact, this shelf, I had always planned on coating it with something uh, instead of leaving it bare wood. But as soon as this room got built, with this shelf, I was very impatient and wanted to get stuff up right away. And so I put cars all over it. Um, I would like to coat it with something. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna coat it with yet. Um, one idea was to have segments of dioramas on it, which would be very cool, but very time consuming. But that would be very cool to have at least one shelf down here like this shelf right here would be like some sort of longer diorama uh, with different scenes. I think that would be pretty awesome because if I'm not going to have much carded stuff, like pegboard can really go, or at least the pegs can get moved up higher and then on the wall, and I'll have a lot of wall space to kind of make something out of this. So it would be, and the kind of a cool idea would be to take this whole 
almost this whole shelf, wraparound shelf thing, and make a big kind of like giant diorama with different scenes on it. Take these Plano cases right here, uh, move them up to the top, and then maybe put in one more row of Plano cases up on the top. So by the way, there's nine. Uh, that's a, two rows of nine down this wall, and then two rows of five down this wall, and then the two um, Carney cases. And then the other idea would be to keep these Plano cases as they are, and then gradually get Carney cases to fill in this carded area here, and then make the diorama kind of table over here. So anyway, no matter what I decide to do, it is going to be a lot of work, but no matter what, even if I'm not going to do a diorama on this shelf, I do want to coat it with something so it's not this like bare particle board is what it looks like. And it's just not very attractive. And, uh, but it is what it is. The other thing I kind of wish I would have done was actually painted this room before I started because it really has this like off like peachish color that I don't know, isn't great. I guess the solution is just to keep covering it with stuff and it really doesn't matter. But, um, but there you go. So there's that. Oh, and another thing, real quick, is these carny cases. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I do like them. Uh, I would like to find ones, honestly, like uh, Lamley has, kind of. The ones that are just white, that don't have the mirrored back. Uh, the mirrored back is kind of cool, but then again, you know, you can see me in it when I'm showing videos. Um, there's a lot to distract from the actual car. Um, which can be kind of problematic for, for shooting these videos. They do look pretty nice. They definitely look nice when you're just looking right at them, but the mirrored back, I don't think is very necessary. So I do either just a clear one, um, with a, like just a, maybe a white backing, I think would look almost better. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. And again, if you got any ideas for what to do with the room, what should I do? So obviously I film like the weekly video. This is like the table where I set everything. I film the weekly video right here, and then I move it to over there for the close-up shots, and then now we're taking a peek around the room. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Your comments are appreciated down below, and uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.